so I was picking up a load of scrap here yesterday and I uh, ripped my tire off the rim and it was too late to go and uh, get it repaired so I'm jacking it up today and I'm gonna take it into a tire shop and get it fixed up and we'll take this load in and see what it's worth Uh, I finally got the wheel off. I think I'm going to put the lugs back in so that they don't get lost. That would suck to come back and find that they've been tampered with. So that was fairly difficult to do with this jack because I don't have all the proper tools. I took some of the tools from the jack of my car and they didn't adapt very well so this is this is uh, holy those leaves are loud she's breezy out today look at that sun Ooh, right in the eye don't look into the sun okay all right I'm going to put this in the trunk Vaseline or something. Murphy soap. I have another cap I can put on there. The one that I have has a big crack in it. I wonder if uh, that would do any damage to it. Well, not damage, but... That's good. What do I owe you, boss? It's leaking. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, that's no good. No. That's probably why it went flat, huh? Yeah. Probably need a tube. Put a tube in it? Yeah. What's the tube going to run me? Probably about 15 bucks or so. Okay, I could do that. Uh, that would still allow me to drive this tire on the highway? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. 
Yeah, I guess we'll have to put a tube in it then. So out of curiosity, what could I expect to pay for uh, a spare, like rim and tire? Oh, I could surprise you. You could almost run you damn near up in the $100 run range. Yeah, I'm not prepared to do that today. I might have a tire the right size, but the rim is the wrong uh, bolt pattern, so I'd have to buy a new rim still. Definitely have to order the rim. So what's harder, one of them big tractor tires or a little trailer tire? These ones. Yeah. Tractor tires as long as it's on the track. Do I go see the man in the office to pay? Yeah. All right, thank you. There is some money for a tube and some service. Yeah. There you are, my Thank man. you. Thanks, Dave. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Take care now. Well, I'm back with my tire, right here, we'll put this bad boy back on, got a fresh tube in there, we'll get going. man it smells like cow dung out here boy, Ooh. apparently they've been spreading it out in the fields there, really ripe smelling.
Probably got to jack this up a little bit higher to get the tire on there now, or the wheel. Oh, look at that. It fits like a glove. Okay, so the tough part here is going to be lifting this onto the trailer hitch. Yeah, right. Okay, well, at least I got a jack. Oh, thank goodness you can see the tongue is starting to come up now. I might get my other jack under that side once I get this up a little more. Or even under the main bar here. Jack under it now. It's just going up quite quick. Probably should have used this jack before. I thought the bottle jack would be easier. This one only goes up so high. Okay, I finally got the car uh, backed in enough. I think I'll go just another inch and then I'll push it over with my foot. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down a little so that it's not resting on the jack, it's resting on the car. Get my feet out of the way in case it slips. Okay, let's see if we can push it now. Perfect. Now we'll get the jack out. My next step is to tie this load down. So you saw I put a message in this video that says I've forgotten 
to tighten my lugs after I lowered the jack. And this is very crucial. Don't do what I did. You must tighten your lugs with the wrench after you lower the wheel. Okay, because a few days later I was traveling down the highway and that wheel came off. And uh, it could have been much more serious than it was. I had a semi truck behind me, but he gave me some room to pull over. Then I had to go for a walk down the other side of the highway, look in the ditch to find my wheel. After that, I had to disconnect the trailer again. I had to go into a town. I had to. I, I stopped at the Canadian Tire. I actually sat for half an hour at the at the parts service desk. Uh, waiting for a fellow to help me and when you finally did all he could tell me is that Canadian Tire doesn't carry these kits anymore so I ended up going across the street to a Princess Auto which luckily was across the street they got me hooked up in no time and I got the wheel back on luckily my hub wasn't damaged or my axle so I guess the, the moral of the story is to always tighten your lugs 